Well, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Bang Tango. Woo! You guys have played here in Wichita a bunch before. Uh, uh, you were signing Rock, Oklahoma, right? You guys were up there? Yeah. With yeah. The, we did Rock, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. And uh, great to have you here in Wichita at uh, another hot outdoor fucking festival. <laughs> yeah, another one. Very hot. Yeah. Well, uh, all right, cool. We're going to open it up for questions now, and uh, I think we're going to turn things over to Tom here. <laughs> hey, guys. How's everything going? Great. Good, cool. good. I guess what we good. should uh, start off with is uh, talking about um, touring. Um, are you guys just doing festivals right now? Are you guys doing any solo shows? No, we're doing that. Uh, we're, we've been touring constantly lately. We just, uh, this is just one of our stops of our dates. You know, we've got, we'll do like three weeks out of a month, go home for a week and then come back, you know? It's, it works out really well. We fly in, travel around, tour, we're finally headlining our own shows. And so it's pretty cool, it's working out. And then, uh, of course, we got the festival, and we got two shows going on. Nice. You know, like, uh, Go, nice. So, you know, just cruising along. Nice. That's an excellent pairing, you guys are dope. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah. That's an excellent pairing with you guys are dope. Yeah, that's oh, like yeah. a machine shop in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> and um, it's been, uh, we're just kind of getting out there right now and, and getting ready to announce the new record soon. So, kind of kissing babies and shaking hands out there to meet people and be on our own for a while. Nice. He's what? always trying to kiss a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so? Yeah, a kiss. <laughs> so you, you mentioned a new record. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, what, what can the fans expect from uh, the new Bang Tango record? A bunch of crap! <laughs> DJ T-Rex. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, we're playing one of the new songs off the album tonight, or today. Both. It's called Suck It Up. Uh, the album's really cool. We're just going back. We decided to rewrite some stuff, and uh, we uh, we're we we're doing it. Uh, we got a record coming out with Full Effects, uh, Sony. It's pretty cool. It's you know giving us a good good deal. It ought to be a good fun ride. You know we plan on taking this album and touring for the next two years off of it. It's a it's a really it's a monster. It's a good album. How how would you compare it to previous Bang Tango records? Well. Is it heavier? Bang Tango's evolved, obviously. You know, we, we don't just stick to one sound. You know, it's whatever we feel like doing at the time, and uh, uh, it's just evolved. It's it's, it's heavier, I'm not gonna, you know, and then there's funkier parts. You know, it's a very Bang Tango album. So you know, it sounds like us. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, um, you uh, mentioned you guys were gonna do one of the new songs today. Um, with a, on, on something of, of your guys' set, was having such a, a catalog of songs to choose from, is it difficult to choose what you guys want to do in your, in your live set? Um, I, I'll speak from a newer guy in the band. Uh, if I were to be a guy coming to see a Bang Tango show, the set we're doing is the set that I'd like to see. Something new, something midway, and something old. Uh, I mean, we're basically trying to give everybody that comes out to see us something that's, um, you know, like I said, something new, something old, and something in the middle. I mean, we had an album out on Shrapnel Records about five years ago called Ready to Go. There was one on Paris. We're doing stuff basically off of just about every one of the Bang Tango releases right now, including the new stuff. So um, I think we, we try to make everybody happy. <laughs> it's about people, you know, coming to see, and, and people pay good money to come to see us. So we want to make them happy, but we can't please everybody. But, but I do think we, we've got a full, full uh, around of songs that are in the set. Sometimes we hear stuff that we haven't really worked up, like somebody. They yeah, yeah you get a lot of uh, fans that are like, "Well, you didn't play this one." It's like we got 30 minutes to play, you know, five albums. I mean, it doesn't work. So everybody's going to request something we didn't play, you know. But we try, we try, especially on our own shows, we play as long as we want. You know? Yeah, last night in Lincoln, Nebraska, we did an hour and a half, and then we got called up for more, and we all looked at each other and said, We didn't even know anymore. We were like, <laughs> like, Shit, Van Halen. What do you do when they, they call you? They're like, Can't do it. I'm call her. Come on. They're yelling her name. We're like, What do you guys know? I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't practice that shit, man. It's, you know, we're out there doing Van Halen or something. I don't know. We're just having fun, and that's that's part of the show too. Is sometimes we, we like to throw a curveball and we we'll do a breakdown for 
could last five to six minutes and, and to get the crowd involved. So we got Scotty Laflamme, he's our new guitar player. So I want to introduce you guys to him. It's only his what sixth show. Yeah. Wow. He's a he's a monster on the guitar. And how did, how did and you of course Lance over here? He's waiting for he's waiting for <laughs> Mr. Talkative. No, he's just waiting for food to go his way. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big tree of carnitas in the camper. Yeah. Five feet that way. Where's my buddy? You got, what do you have? Yeah. <laughs> just leaving right now. I'm already going over there, dude, whatever you just said. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, uh, do you remember the first time the four of you actually got together and jammed for the first time? Uh, what, what that vibe was like? Well, it was only a week ago, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can remember that. And it was basically on stage at a show. I mean, we, we, these guys flew into Chicago and we had a, a, an hour and a half rehearsal session, which was just basically about putting the set together. We sent him the songs and said, you better have it right when you walk in because you got no other shot. And we went on stage the next night and uh, he did great in the band, you know, it felt good, so. It's, it's really strange with him because, uh, you know, we said, Learn the songs, but we didn't know he was going to come there and actually play note songs. for note exactly the way they're done. You know, we're like, well, we do this jam thing. What are you doing, dude? Yeah. This is how it goes. We kind of do a hybrid thing, too. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate that. Now, now, how did you guys hook up? Uh, you, uh, through our agent. Um, and of course, Alex, our other guitar player, he's out with uh, Adler right now. Um, we can't pay that kind of money. <laughs> I got lots of money. Come play. We don't have to get our money. But um, yeah, we uh, uh, Alex and uh, Sullivan, big, they 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 recommended him highly, and he came in, and yeah, he's he's everything in a bag of chips. Now, with a lot of the, the only thing. time he shuts up is when we're here right now. <laughs> that is weird. Well, if you guys want me to talk, I'll talk. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I definitely got to say these guys are really, really fun to work with. I, my cheeks hurt constantly because this this tour is nothing but fun. Specify you know, which cheeks. <laughs> How did you which get in cheeks? the band? Not those. Lance, we know where your mind's at. Since I've been in the band, my I'm cheeks hurt really bad. Band initiation is a bitch. Thanks oh, yeah. Time. They already tried that on me. But uh, it didn't work out. <laughs> That's why you sleep with Trent. I think it was something like get in the band. Okay, you know what you gotta do now? Suck us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that about you guys. That's got a nice limo. All your previous band members have stretch marks around their mouths. <laughs> right, now, that's what I was gonna ask you. I feel comfortable enough with you guys to ask you this, but as a band, how, do, do people. A lot of the bands that tour on these uh, on these festivals, they're reunited bands or uh, bands comprised of new members. Do, do people ever hassle you on? Well, you guys aren't the all original lineup. Does that ever come up, or uh, well, how do you respond to that? Well, I started the band in 1987, and I've been going ever since. I haven't stopped. Took a little short break during Creatures, but uh, I I continue on. And if they say anything like that, I just tell them I haven't left myself. I'm still here. Every time I look in the mirror, it's still me singing. You know, and I've been with this guy. He's been in the band longer than the original members. Right. Uh, he's been with me for eight years now. And then Trent, you know, I don't look at them like that. You right. know, I never do. I, I, I like the songs. I you. sing the songs. I came up with the name of the band. So if I decide I'm not comfortable or somebody's not comfortable with the situation, I'd rather remain good friends with all those guys that sure. have any problems. And well, if you look I'm at still we... good friends with all the ex-members. I'm still good cool. friends with anybody who played in the band. And it's not, I mean, you can easily look at it as a revolving door. Yeah, but right. it's not. It's just, just, you know, you got to remember something. You know, everybody has a favorite baseball team, football team, basketball team, whatever. Well, what do you do to win the game? If you have to trade a guy or a guy wants more money, then that's just the way it works. You right. know? And to me, I'm that still the sense. captain of my own ship. I built it. I'm still sailing the bitch, you know, so I don't, I don't care about that. That's there's, awesome. a, you know? there's a lot bigger bands out there that have, don't, don't have original members that are still sailing. That's what I was going to say. If you look at, uh, I didn't even, you know, a lot of people don't know this. You look at Wikipedia, for instance, and it'll say band members. 
this guy play, you know, the list is like pages uh, long. There's a lot of modern rock groups that are on the radio right now that have had five or six records out that don't have, the, you know, Shinedown, for example, yeah. is one band that, you know, I, I think the singer and the drummer are the only original members. Yeah. So if you're going to make comparisons and all these people, there's always going to be haters. And all you have to do is open your arms and love the haters because at some point they're going to go, well, they either suck or they're good. <laughs> Bottom line, I mean, you can't, you know, if somebody quits a band, you can't stop from quitting. And if they want to come back later on, you know, their, their ship has already sailed. I'm sorry that the, the shoes are filled. So, yeah, we, you know, it's it's very, uh, it's not a big deal, man. We, I mean, we kick ass, we rock, we have fun. If you don't like it, fuck it. And I, I don't really, you know, I don't base anything off that stuff, you know, really. I mean, we're still doing it. We're still touring. We're still making records. That's what all that really matters. Right. You know? I mean, you know, you can't. You can't look at a band member, especially the guys a long time ago, and if they decide to start families and have kids and venture out to do something else, I can't sit there and go, but wait a minute, 10 years from now, everybody's going to ask me what happened to you. You know, I don't do that. You know, I just sit there and go, hey, we're, we're, we're Bang Tango right here. We're sitting on this couch Absolutely. with Bang Tango. And I remember, like, it, uh, the first year, Rock, Oklahoma, uh, a lot of the bands, uh, like, I can't even think of a, a for instance, but they're like, Oh yeah, man. He used to play with us when we first started. You know, because it, it's almost like a, you know, this inbred mixture of uh, this guy went to this band now, and now it's like a reunion almost when you go to these things. So it's still cool. I like the uh, the, the sports analogy. That makes total sense. Well, it's very. It does make sense. You have to look at it like you know. Unfortunately, you have to trade out people and do things that's going to be conducive for what's going to happen with the band, not what people might think about it. You know, I mean. I didn't go out and search out hack players or anything, you know. I try to get the best of the best that I can get. Turns are a free agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any takers. Hi there. Yeah. My name's Trent. I'm 5'9". Right? I like walks on the beach. <laughs> I think, uh, I'll just say this for the guys, I think that one of the most important things in being a professional is being able to have a tight ship, running a tight ship, and all Smoke of these guys. Of a lot of Personal preference there, Joe. Um, and I think, say anybody have any? I'm sitting here. I, I think it's really important to know that you know you, you just you got to be a team player, and you got to have people that are uh, willing to do the job and can do the job. You know, people that have been working hard their whole lives. You said the scene. The scene's very incestuous, by the way. The, uh, that was the word I was looking for. Earlier. Very incestuous. Yeah, and you know what? It's yeah, we have a kid. It's incestuous. Yes, these two, the kid is ugly as shit. But, uh, yeah. no, it's, it, it, it is. <laughs> we can have to work. I actually met these guys when I was opening up for them on tour. And when I knew they were looking for a drummer, I called them and said, the worst thing in your life just happened. I'm going to come down and be your drummer. True. <laughs> no, no, no. Kind of like a bad case of herpes that just don't go away, you know? Yeah, no, Trent does a lot in the band. He makes sure that, uh, Everything's worked. Everybody has separate jobs, you know. Mine is to stay healthy and sing and write and stuff. Uh, Scott has to talk a lot. Merch. Which, Merch. that's a contradiction at this point because uh, I'm not really talking a lot, but yeah. it's a good thing. <laughs> but, you know, we're here to have fun, man. We're here to make sure everybody else has fun. That's what our, I tell these guys. We're no different than construction workers, plumbers. We're we're blue collar workers. We work our asses off. We travel around the country and we play shows. That's what we do. So you're no different than a plumber. Stand up and turn around then. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> are your pants pulled up or down? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just like Joe the plumber. Oh. Nice. Good night. That's a thought I didn't need. Thanks. If I had a couple beers, I would have showed you more. But <laughs> right now, it seems to be water. I'm gonna skip those carnitas now. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Nice. Any other questions? For yeah, this, just one more question for Joe. Um, are we gonna see a, uh, another beautiful creatures album anytime? And some, I'm, I'm, we're talking about sometime in 2011. You know, but you know, right now I'm concentrating on this record. And, and do me a favor, listen to the new song, Suck It Up, because people go, it sounds like Beautiful Creatures, but Bang Tango, and they can't figure it out. And I'm going, well, guess what? I sang in both bands and I did the both. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool, so I hope you guys like it. You know, it's, you know, we're rocking on. It's, it's a matter of kismet, you know, coming together and 
making everything right, you know. I don't like to put out shit. I've done it before. I don't want to do it again. Hence, from the hip. Nice. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Uh, Bang Tango. And uh, any other questions? Think we're good? Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, guys. You guys want to stand, stand up front here? That way everybody can get a nice group shot.